the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, St. John Vianney, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We honor in the liturgy today St. John Vianney, who uh, Pope uh, Benedict uh, had, uh, during his pontificate, made the uh, universal patron of, of uh, all priests. Previously, had been, he had been just the patron of parish priests, uh, but then he was uh, raised to be the patron of all priests. And we see in St. John Vianney an extraordinary example of, of dedication, of holiness and piety in his ministry. And we know that even in the seminary, he struggled with certain things such as Latin and there were some amongst his, uh, his teachers that did not want him to be ordained. Uh, but the uh, bishop recognized that uh, what he lacked in knowledge uh, what he lacked in knowledge would be would be uh, uh, would be surpassed by his piety. Uh, Saint John Vianney had a tremendous devotion to our Blessed Mother and uh, prayed to her constantly for help and assistance in his studies and in all his duties. Actually, as a young man, when he was working in the field, he uh, did not have the strength enough even to push the plow uh, to push the plow through the field. So. Uh, he was able to conquer this by taking a statue of Our Lady and he would throw the statue of Our Lady ahead of him and uh, push the plow to the statue and when he got there, he would throw the statue again and then like that, he was able to plow the field. Uh, so great was his confidence and trust in our Blessed Mother. We know that St. John Vianney also had uh, many encounters with the enemy, with, evil, with the devil, and uh, who tried to frighten him and to... Uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, to get him to cease in his labor for souls, in his uh, light, in his prayer and penances, and and uh, we know that Saint John of persevered with great courage, even though he, when he went to Ars, we know that the the village of Ars was in uh, a, a, a state of great godlessness, a state of uh, great moral decay, and uh, he spent long hours in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, praying for his people, praying for the, his flock. Uh, for their conversion, and, and, and so little by little, soul by soul, uh, through the grace of God, the whole city was conquered. We know that he lamented very greatly on when he went to ours on the people's not uh, keeping Holy Sunday, and uh, people were working on Sunday and had their shops open, and he even told the farmers not to work on Sunday, that God would provide for them if they they kept they kept Holy Sunday, uh, wanting to renew the the uh, recognition of the sacredness of Sunday as the Lord's Day and a day of rest and a day of uh, to be with one's, one's loved ones and uh, to spend more time in, in uh, prayer uh, with God. And also he, uh, he had a very strong, a uh, very strong uh, 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 dislike and very, uh, was very strongly against uh, dancing uh, uh, and uh, encourage the people not to engage in such such activity, which could lead them into to uh, to sin, and uh, and uh, perhaps he is known also for his his great love of Saint Philomena, and having extraordinary devotion to her, uh, in and asking her intercession in so many in so many ways. Uh, so we can ask Saint John Vianney today to pray for all priests, and that uh, all priests may. Uh, strive to be ever more conformed to Christ in his in their their ministry and saving souls and their dedication for souls. As Saint John Vianney spent such long hours in the confessional and in uh, before the Blessed Sacrament and uh, in praying the Rosary, uh, we see here the the true recipe for conquering souls and to bring souls out of darkness uh, into the light of Christ. May Saint John Vianney pray for us and. Uh, assist all of us in our walk with Christ, that like him we may have an ever greater confidence in Our Lady in helping us to conquer all our own struggles and, and uh, all our own struggles in life, that with her help we too may rise above them uh, to become great saints for the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.